Okay. Um, got a can of beef here. I went up to Michigan and picked up a bunch of stuff, so forgive the mess here. You wouldn't believe the mess I got in this house. I just picked up a bunch of canning, like ball jars and stuff like that I had in Michigan. But I got some beef here that was canned in 716. So, um, and right now it is December 2019. So, I'm going to eat it. It looks good. Never mind that stuff on the sides. That's what happens when you cook it. But I'm going to open it up, and then if it smells good, I'm eating it. So, yeah, and I'll... Let you know if I die. <laughs> well, I can't. I'll be dead, right? <laughs> but I'll let you know if I get sick. But I can this back in 716. Yeah, again, forgive the mess, but uh, like I said, I just picked up a bunch of stuff from Michigan. So it's like uh, I got all the stuff I got to sort through. Um. Oh, here's that beef. Let's see if we hear a sound. Ugh. Ooh. Good suction. Oh, what is that on the top? Still smells good, but I don't know what that is. That's messed up, dude. Oh, it's just... It's just fat. I don't think that's mold. So... Yeah, it's just fat that developed on the top. So, what do you say we cook it up? Uh, if I can get it out of the jar, I think I have to break it up. Uh, let, me, uh, let me wash my hands or something. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that was a. That was a glob of fat. <laughs> I bet I think that's what that was. So, I don't think it was mold. Like I said, they had a really good seal and the stuff was canned properly when I canned it. To the best of my knowledge. Uh, I did have some stuff I picked up in Michigan and the meat was one of them. And... I'm trying to be careful. I don't like jabbing metal utensils in my ball jar. But... There is some stuff I did throw out. Um, I had beans that just had no water left in them, and they were probably fine. I opened them, they smelled fine. And there we go. Ah, it looks pretty good, man. It actually looks pretty tasty. So we'll heat it up, and you know, I'm wondering if I should add some flour to this. Kind of like make like a like a gravy or something. I ain't no chef. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, some of the food that I had to throw out was um, I had quarts of just plain old pinto beans, and they smelled fine when I opened them, but I just trashed them because I don't remember what I did to can them. And then I had split pea soup, and I opened up a jar a jar of it, and I noticed that I did in fact put potatoes in it, and you're not supposed to put potatoes in soup that you can you know or split pea soup you're not supposed to add tomatoes because they're starchy so this soup was like extra thick you know so i'm like all right it's got to go i mean in my opinion it was canned wrong so i dumped it out i hated wasting it and then there's some other things that i had that was uh i had some baked beans and quartz that i made up and uh for some reason, those just got nasty over time, and it still smelled decent when I opened them. But I just, I, tr I, I scrapped those too. I got rid of them. Um, I got some apples that are from 2016. Uh, apple pie filling, actually. And uh, it had like this glob on the bottom. And I shook the jar up, and it looked, looked normal, like it did when I first canned it. So, I think it's okay. So for each video, I want to do a video for each thing that I eat and see if I get sick. But I don't think there's going to really be a problem because everything's been canned properly. Uh, except for the beans and the, uh, the split pea, which I done got rid of. 
and I wash the jars and bleach just to be safe. Get this nice and hot. That smells fine, yeah. This is like cool, dude. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should add some flour to that. But I'll come back and we will enjoy a bite. All right, here's a moment of truth. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna taste a piece with no salt and pepper. And there, you know what, there's probably some really experienced canners out there probably laughing at themselves. I mean, this guy's sitting there making a sanctimonious video about eating meat that's three and a half years old in a can when it's probably in reality no big deal. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't, I'm just nervous, you know, just whatever. But here we go. I'm gonna try a piece of this, see if it's, see how tender it is. I don't even remember what cut of beef this was. I just bought what was ever you know, big and cheap. As far as I can tell, it tastes fine. Man, it might not even need any salt. But, How long does food poisoning take to set in? Two to three days or something, or a day to three days. I, for some reason though, I'm confident that this is this meat's actually just fine. I'm, I'm confident that it's fine. For some reason, I don't know why. Put some pepper on there, and I'm gonna eat this up and enjoy it. So, if you don't see no more videos from me, you know that it killed me. <laughs> bon appetit.